Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. This is The Auditorium. If you're new, I like to react to video game music that I've never heard of or games I've never played. And today I'm going to be doing a Patreon request for Quetzal. This is Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Walking With You. I myself am a musician, so I like to dissect these just a little bit different. I play guitar. I discovered Xenoblade on uh, this series, on this channel that I do, and it's been quite a ride. Xenoblade has even made it into my top 10 reactions that I've done, and you know, the bar has been set high, which could be good or bad, but you know, either way, Xenoblade has always been a treat, so let's just enjoy this together. Starting now. It's really pretty. Way more melodic than I'm used to. like the stringed instrument in the background, which I think is a harp. That string ringing out in the background. It's still going. Wow. Kind of left me a little speechless. That was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Especially for being such a sentimental, emotional ride. Well, I was thrown, I was thrown for a loop a bit because so far that is the most 
different Xenoblade 2, or I think Xenoblade in general that I've heard, that one sticks out quite a bit. So, you know, the question arises, is this towards end game, cutscene, sentimental, you know, pivot point in the story? Because up until this point, all Xenoblade has been relatively hard rock and kind of metal with violins and like really upbeat rhythms. So it just kind of drew me back because now we're in the realm of solemn and despair maybe. That didn't really sound necessarily happy nor sad. Kind of in between, but I would say more sad. But it's kind of hard to tell with a title like Walking With You. But then again, that title also sounds kind of like the end. Now, I'm sure the comments will tell me and I don't want to get spoiled too much. So I'm going to try to skim the comments as opposed to just kind of reading them all. But uh, to me, it sounds like it's kind of the end. And, you know... I just, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting that because, like I said, I'm used to kind of like rocking out and, you know, having a, a grand old time. This time I feel kind of like I need to re rethink my life <laughs> and wonder what's coming next and plan my, you know, it's really, it was more, it was more human, which, th that makes one thing happen in my head, and that is... Whenever I hear a musical act, whether it's a band, a movie, a game, whatever media there is, and it shows that it's more than a one-trick pony, to me that cements it as now in the more like legendary status, as opposed to just like, oh, it's really cool. You know, now we're approaching uh, iconic status because it shows that they're diverse and. They're not just sticking to one formula because it works. It shows that they can go through all the realms of emotions and still provide something so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I, I really was not expecting that. I, as soon as I saw that it was a Xenoblade request, I was like, oh, sick. You know, I'm gonna, gonna rock out and have a grand old time. And now I'm just kind of like, whoa. But from what I've said in the past is that Xenoblade has always impressed me quite a bit, tenfold. And now they've really like sh like stunned me because I know they can now do these things. And as silly as it sounds, because I knew the musicianship was there from the beginning with the violins and the strings and all that, it never occurred to me that they would go softer, but it was always there. So. I don't know, it's kind of like a, a nice treat that I wasn't expecting. Very, very emotional. The strings were really beautiful and they were ringing out the whole time. The, I believe it was a harp also in the background. You know, it was just, it was just really pretty. And it, it's kind of slightly bugging me that I don't know when that plays. That's the case in every single, almost 99% of every reaction I do. I don't know the context. When it plays, where it plays, why it plays. But this one, it's like, I need to know. And I don't do it often, but you know, after the video's over, I'm, I'm most likely gonna Google it and just kind of spoil it myself, even though I, you know, I don't plan on playing it, so. <sighs> I mean, I mean, it wasn't bad. Don't don't get me wrong, but I'm just kind of like, whoa. <laughs> it was such a sh it was a short emotional song too, right? Like emotional songs are usually a little longer, telling a story. But this one was kind of just. That's what confuses me the most about it. Not that they could do this, but the 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 execution they chose to do it, which is what three minutes and forty two seconds, and it had a huge build up. Right? It was like a minute or so of just kind of rising tension and and volume and then all of a sudden it came in with the the big percussion and then the rest of the song, but Yeah, I'm I'm having trouble connecting where that would go. 
but I'll find out as soon as you know this is over. But uh, in the meantime, musically it was really beautiful. The, the song name is really beautiful, even though I have no idea what it means. It's just really pretty. I feel like this is just kind of meant for someone, right? Like a dedication or something like that. It's something with you in the title, obviously. It's very personal. And... Yeah, I don't know. This this one left me really, really uh, stunned. Super pretty. And just fantastic, really. I'm going to do something a little different in this video, where as usually I would give you guys a recommendation or a song or an artist that it reminds me of. But I want to kind of flip the script a bit and I want to see if you have recommendations for me that's not VGM that I can listen to on my own time. If this reminded you of something, um, let me know. A uh, song, I should say. If it reminds you of a song, let me know. And uh, I would love to hear it because I love stuff like this and I already have my own little collection of it and I would share that. But this time I just want to try something different and I just want to... Uh, you guys to show and tell this kind of um, beautiful, you know, emotional journey of music. And um, yeah, I'm sorry if I, don't, if I don't sound too like ecstatic. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. It kind of made me sad. Not because I was expecting something, but because it just took me to a realm that I wasn't thinking I was going to go. So don't think I'm disappointed because I didn't rock out. <laughs> I can, I can rock out on my own time. It's just. Man, I don't know, I just feel like something's missing, right? Like something, besides the context, I feel like something hit me right there. And it just kind of, you know, stopped me in my tracks, like deer in the headlights type of thing. So with that, I'll just, I'll leave it at that. It was a really beautiful song. And Xenoblade Chronicles 2, at least, um, has now, to me, been cemented as um, a very iconic soundtrack. Because they're, they're not afraid to just stop the drums and stop the metal and stop you know they're they're willing to to go wherever it takes which excites me even more now in the future request for xenoblade because now i really won't know what's coming before i thought i did now i don't what emotion are we going to be feeling what you know etc etc so now it's kind of more exciting from here on out what's what xenoblade has to offer that's exciting <clears throat> So with that being said, thank you so much, Quetzal, for the request. If you want to do the same thing, you can do so on Patreon or PayPal. Either are okay, neither are necessary, but the guarantee that I will check out your song, your VGM request, I should say. And um, that's my only rule, just make sure it's a video game song. Music made for a game, I should say. And there is a bit of a waitlist, but if you do not want to wait, there is the Platinum Trophy tier, which is a perk on Patreon, and that expedites your request to the top. And a big shout out to Fly and Jack for being Platinum supporters. Thank you to all my other supporters. Thank you for watching. My name is Jesse. I will see you in the next Xeno song. Check out the other ones if you haven't. There's plenty. And uh, I will see you next time. I'm going to go recover and <laughs> try to smile for the rest of the night. And uh, have a good night. Take it easy. My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. Peace.